Good Friday afternoon, San Antonio. I'm meteorologist Mia Montgomery with this weather authority update. We've got some changes that work in into the weekend in the form of increasing rain chances and then a brief stretch of some cooler than average temperatures. But before we can get there, still dealing with a little bit of the moisture today. We've actually seen a weak cool front dip its toes into parts of the area, but it's going to stall here over the next couple of days. We'll reach for the upper 70s, a few peaks of sunshine possible into the afternoon, just a 10% chance for a stray shower through dinner time. But then later on tonight, we're going to slightly increase those rain chances, especially out west closer to the Rio Grande. An upper level disturbance is looking to spark a cluster of rain and thunderstorms for places like Del Rio, Eagle Pass. Again, that's going to cross over the Rio Grande and track eastward into the early morning hours of our Saturday. We'll see how well it can hold together in the exact placement of this activity. It could reach for the I-35 corridor closer to about 3 o'clock in the morning before fizzling out. By 7 a.m. Saturday, just a few pockets of drizzle possible. We'll catch a little bit of a lull in the activity by midday, but if you're stepping out for any fiesta activities by Saturday, late afternoon, evening, and especially Saturday night, take the umbrella with you. Another disturbance looks to spark up a 60 to 70% potential for some more scattered to widespread rain. A couple of thunderstorms possible, then this is going to gradually work southeastward into the early morning hours of our Sunday, the back half of the weekend, looking drier, a bit windy. Windy. Wind gusts upwards of 30 to potentially even 35 miles per hour at times. But what those winds will be doing, allowing drier air to filter in. Take a look at Sunday's afternoon high, currently in the upper 60s with that drier air in place. Then into Monday for the River Parade, very nice and pleasant conditions continue before we start to warm things back up and send the moisture back in by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. So yes, a lot to monitor, especially when it does come to some of those rain chances late Saturday and then of course that low humidity into early next week. So we'll continue to keep you posted, but until then have a great Friday afternoon and Viva Fiesta.